I couldn't. Do you really? Could you see Adam voting for Luan to stay? Let me just tell you. Kalia said, depending on the conversation that she and I have today, is depending on whether or not I stay. Yeah, she wants to control you, so let her think she's controlling you. you oh, just, I'm going you to. You just shake your head and say yes, and mm -hmm. keep doing exactly what you're doing. Keep yeah. your mouth shut. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Don't even defend yourself. Say yes. Okay, you got it. Yes. Just know that she's going to try to make you swear on Brendan. Oh, fuck that. So, and just keep your head, knowing that we have your back a billion percent, and know that it's been put in place in her head that she has the votes. Very... To keep Luan? Yes. Okay. So just say, I know you have the votes. Just play with it. Don't, don't be normal, competitive Rachel. Yeah. Shut up and let her think it, because the more red flags you raise, the more she could flip a couple people. <clears throat> right now, it's all set up for us, and that's why we're just shutting up and just listening and going on and getting to Thursday. I just, I'm shocked. That's good. And she told, well, I don't know. She told me she thinks Danielle wants to talk to me, too. She know? does. They're get they're backpedaling. They're they're scared. Because they want they're scared that I'm gonna win the HOH. Or that I would come back if they even evicted me. Well, you may have to make some promises that you have to break. I can't swear on Brendan. Don't swear on Brendan, just say that's against your religion or whatever, but give your word. Cross your fingers when you do it. <laughs> just do whatever you have to do. Yeah. No, I will. I mean, I'll do whatever I have to do to stay in the game, but it's like... I, I can't lie to people. I'm really bad at lying to people. Well, that's fine. Don't lie. Find a way not to lie. I'm like the worst liar in America. They say you guarantee you won't put us up. Say, I guarantee I won't put you up. But then you put them up and say, I didn't say I wouldn't put you on the block. <laughs> I said I wouldn't put you up. You can say, I, prom I can say, I promise you won't be my target. Just figure it out. She's, Get your words right. She goes, I put Luan up as a pawn. And I said, you put pawns up for so people will go home. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I think this whole business of, I don't know. I don't know. Just use your ears in proportion to your mouth and you'll get really far this week. Mm -hmm. That's the best advice I can give you. Yeah. Don't worry. We have worked quite hard to get it to this point <laughs> for you. I know. Because it was Jordan going up and we had to get that off the how? table. Okay. I just don't understand how she could say she would never put up Jordan. She promises that's one thing she's not going to do. She can say that now. And then she's going to put her up. She would put, she would, she was considering it. Like, to me, if you say, like, I'm not going to put you up, I'm working with you, or I'm never going to do something, you don't do it. Right. And if someone says to you, put up Jordan, you're like, listen, buddy, you're not me. You didn't win HOH this She's not doing it all on her own. She's got half a brain one place, half a brain the other. With her? In her middle ground was Luan. And that's fine. Middle ground got Jordan off and got you back i know and that took about three or four hours of conversation to get them to come to that conclusion on their own i can't believe that <sighs> you just have to stay calm and yeah. do exactly what you're doing be friendly be happy personable i'm trying you are and you it's obvious but you know what? She can't second guess everything you're doing. No. A lot of red flags kind of make you rethink everything and makes you do things that you wouldn't normally do. You know, because you second guess everything here. In normal life, you don't second guess what you do every day. You go do it. You make a decision and you run with it. You can't necessarily do that here.
I hope in some ways I'm not wrong about Luan because I don't want to be feel like I was that far off. I hope that you are because if you're... <laughs> do you think that he... So wait, do you think he is going to go and then come back or what? I just think he's part of the twist. Oh. Um. Nobody can come in the game and do absolutely nothing like he has. Oh, they can. They will. Well, I just That just shocks me. Okay. Like every season there's... Even a, the dumbest players talked game. Porsche. Oh, God. Enzo never talked game to anyone, ever. He did on TV. He was always up there so with the brigade. Always. The Juan might be in the room talking game. I don't think he is. They say he does. Dan never talked game, ever, to anyone. And he won, Big Brother. <clears throat> Dan was smart. Dan was a good player. He was, I agree. He talked when he needed to, and he partnered with the right people, which mm -hmm. is exactly what we're trying to do here. Um, I'm trying to think. Michelle on season 11, Natalie on season 11, never talked game. Natalie got to second place. Horrible game player. You know? Yeah, under the radar. I would agree with you that she was an under the radar player. Yeah. They it, rode on Jesse's back. Right, and that's what... Jeff, please exchange your microphone with one in the storage room. I feel like that's what Lawan could be doing, just riding under the radar. <coughs> I don't think he's that smart to figure that out. Mm -mm. I think Porsche's way more dangerous than Lawan. Me too. Just because she might actually win something. Uh, uh... Portia needs to go. I don't trust her. Well, right now, you know anything you tell her is going directly to Danielle. You know Danielle has her. I haven't talked to Portia since Good. she since after Brendan left. Yeah, she's and she. I tried to talk to her the other day, and I was like, "What happened between us? We were friends." I thought, and she's like, "Well, you went crazy when Brendan left, and I just can't really play my game like that." I'm like, "So you're not well, they my filled friend." Her, they've filled her head. Yeah. And I'm like, so you're not my friend now because um, of how I... Fiancé, who's stripped away from their fiancé, would act. Sure. And she's like, she was like, well, she's like, the thing is in this game, like, I can still be your friend and I better get a wedding invite, but, you know, in this game, we don't have to work together. And I'm like, okay, Sorry, well, no. I'm like, yeah, but you weren't, I said, you were not even acting like my friend. I'm like, Did you, you change your mic? I said, you ignored me. You're not acting like my friend. And she's like, well, I needed you to cool off and kind of calm down and, you know, kind of get back to normal. And I'm like... Who are we talking about? Portia. Uh, and when I was did she like, say this? Like two or three days ago. Uh, okay. And I was like, Portia, my fiancé, the love of my life, not some guy I met a month ago, not, you know, something, but... Can you believe that, that sushi is like that? That eel sauce is so good, huh? I mean, it's just eel sauce. I know. It's just called they eel sauce. They told you in the DR, too. I know. 